How are you guys doing today? Welcome to another video. In today's video, we're going to be comparing three OS for the Lenovo Legion Go. So over here we have Windows, over here we have Steam OS, and over here we have Bazai. And there is one clear winner. And I'll tell you guys why at the end of this video. So if that's something you guys were interested in, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Let's get right into it. All right, so to begin, let's start with OS. As you can see here with Bazai and SteamOS, again, this being Bazai, this being SteamOS, it looks pretty similar. And that's because Bazai is kind of like a fork from SteamOS. So Bazai is pretty much running SteamOS. And the cool thing about this is that you do get the latest SteamOS update. So for instance, if you go here to settings and if you go to system, you can check for updates and you'll see it should pull in the latest SteamOS update here if there's any, but I do think I was just updated to the latest one, right? So that's pretty cool. And again, if you want stuff like Steam Deck TDP, this has it. Now, the cool thing about this with Bazai is that this does have the limiter for SteamOS, you have to use a software called Decky Loader plugin to get the frame limiter and to mess with different TDP settings as well. So for instance, with Bazai, you can come here and you can mess with TDP. If we open up SteamOS here, and if we go down here, you notice that the same TDP setting is not here. But again, if we go to Decky Loader and if we go to Simple Decky TDP, we can now use this Decky Loader plugin to get TDP settings. So I feel like Bazai is it's a more complete SteamOS version than you get in with the original SteamOS on the Lenovo Legion Go. And then to top it off, it does have extra settings. If you come here, you have this to where you can then have more customization to your TDP. You can mess around with RGB light here. You can turn it completely off or you can just make it rainbow or make it different colors. So you do have customization here, Legion Go controls. You can mess around with that compared to where SteamOS is just vanilla. You don't get that customization. And then finally, I would say with Bazai, you can dual boot so you can actually get the best of Windows and SteamOS with Bazai to where SteamOS, as far as I know right now, I've been trying to dual boot it. I cannot dual boot it. So again, if you want the best of SteamOS and if you want the best of Windows with Bazai here, you can do that. All right, so the next thing I want to talk about is gameplay performance and it's hit or miss with SteamOS. So with SteamOS, there's some games that just seem to run pretty well at lower TDP settings. In Windows, there's some games that just seem to run better. A big one is Elden Ring. You guys know that on SteamOS, it does run better than it does with Windows. It does load the cache faster than Windows and performance wise, it's just a better experience. But I would have to say when it comes to gameplay and performance, something that I'm noticing that's an issue with the Lenovo Legion Go is the fact that it doesn't get the latest drivers. Luckily, we were able to use the RGLI driver, which I showcased the video on how to do that. But previous to that, the normal AMD driver just kept getting rejected. And so when we wanted to play a game like Doom, uh, the Dark Ages, when it came out, we actually couldn't play it because we didn't have the latest drivers. With SteamOS, with Bazai, and with this right here, uh, official SteamOS, you don't need to worry about that because Valve with Proton, they do update games quite frequently. And again, Doom the Dark Ages was working pretty well without needing that driver. So, so you do have that benefit of actually playing the latest games. Now I say where Windows kicks in is you have a lot of functionality here to mess around to give you a better gameplay experience. For instance, you have the AMD Adrenaline software, which you can open up and you can mess around with stuff like AMFF 2.1, which is kind of like frame generation on this. And there's a lot of other sense that you can mess with like RIS, which is, uh, which clarifies the image and gives you sharper images. So again, you have all these suits here that you can mess with again, radiant chill. You have again, wood motion frames to mess around with here. And then to top it off, if your game just does not run well, with this, you have something called lossless scaling to where you can use this to 
to where you can use this to generate frame generation on games. So you have more options to get better gameplay experience than you would with SteamOS. But then again, if you have Bazai, if a game runs better on Windows, you can just dual boot it and get that performance here on Bazai. And then another benefit is that you do have access to Xbox Game Pass, right? So you can just go to the Xbox store here. And then if you have Game Pass, you can locally play your Game Pass games. And then you have access to launchers on windows to where steam os you have to you can get you can't get game pass natively you can use something like xbox cloud gaming here on your steam os device to play your game pass games but as you guys know cloud gaming is not the best but then again on windows you can just come here and have access to your game pass library and then you can just download a game directly onto your windows device to be able to play it so that is the benefit with Windows. You don't have to worry about lunches. You don't have to worry about games just not being supportive. Another thing is anti-sheet. It's a big issue for SteamOS devices. Again, this one and this one. Not if you dual boot, but games like Destiny, for instance, doesn't run on SteamOS. So if you want to play EA games, for instance, like FIFA or Madden, if it's so-called FIFA these days, you can actually run that on SteamOS because of anti-sheet issues. So I would have to tell you one of my favorite experience with SteamOS is the sleep and resume feature. I actually played and beat Expedition 33 on my Lenovo Legion Go using SteamOS because of the sleep and resume feature. So if you guys don't know what that is, when you're playing the game, you can actually hit the pause button and I'll show you here quickly. All right, so I'm gonna give you an example of sleep to resume. So say I'm playing Doom right here on SteamOS. If I hit the off button, you see it power off here. Now if I power it back on, it shuts off, right? Give it a little bit. So if I power it back on, it should be able to resume from where I left off. Just touch it. And yeah, so it just resumes exactly where I left off. So again, I played Expedition 33 on my the on this device and I was able to beat it, complete it completely because I can just pause it whenever I want and just get back to it. And the cool thing about it is it doesn't drain the battery life. With Windows, I feel like with hibernation mode, if you go that route, it just drains your battery. And then when you unpause it, I feel like performance is really affected by it as well. Now, as far as battery life goes, personally, I'm not noticing any difference with using SteamOS over Windows, which one gets better battery life. I feel like it's pretty similar. But yeah, just want to talk about my experience with these three OS and which one I would personally recommend. Honestly, the winner, clear winner here is Badzai because again, you have the best of both worlds. If you want SteamOS, you can get SteamOS like you've seen here. If you want Windows, you can get Windows like you've seen here. But the cool thing about it is that they have their little cool features here that you can mess around with, personalize it. So again, just want to highlight it. I know I get a lot of questions of which OS is better, which one should I use? And personally, I would recommend Bazai over SteamOS and over Windows right now, but they all offer their advantages. But personally, if you can get both of them, I would say why not? And with Bazai, that is what you get. I feel it's just want to highlight this. Let me know in the comments below, was this helpful for you guys? Let me know which OS you guys use on your Legion Go. Appreciate you guys. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Until next time, peace out.